Hey everyone, so I've got a TV show to talk to you about today and I'm talking about Catherine Tate laughing at the Naughties, which was on 4OD, it was on TV a couple of days ago but um, I think it was on last night actually but it's now on 4OD so if you missed it you can go and check it out there and when I clicked on it it said episode 2 so I don't know if there was another episode before that because to my knowledge there wasn't, there's no information online um, if you know the specifics of that do let me know um, but I just want to say first of all if it is episode 2 of 2 that's ridiculous it is a two hour program and that's sort of typical of Channel 4. They do a lot of these things like count down to the top 100 best shows or the 10 greatest comedy moments and things or just a general collection of looking at sort of a collection of things really. Um, really dire lexical choices there Amy but never mind. And in this one Catherine Tate shows us pretty much the greatest comedy shows from the, the sort of the last 10 years um, across the noughties. I will be honest, um, I'll go through it in specific details in a moment, but just as a, to sum up first of all, I was kind of pleased but there are, there are big issues with it, um, well, medium sized, possibly small issues, um, but first things first, the fact that it's Catherine Tate presented made it perfect, I adore Catherine so much, she is so gorgeous, she's absolutely hilarious and one of the greatest people in the history of the universe. Um, and I have met her, so I am entitled to say that. No, she is fantastic. And um, if it wasn't presented by her, it probably wouldn't be as good. I haven't actually known. That's a sign of lying. I promise you, I'm not lying. I do think she's utterly amazing. Um, so the fact that she presented it is sensational. The fact that it was on Channel 4, I've never seen Catherine do anything with Channel 4. Always BBC. Have I seen her do anything ITV? I don't think I have. So the fact that it's always BBC kind of makes it a little bit weird to watch her on Channel 4. But never mind, so across the two hours she introduces us to a, a variety of comedy shows and um, she talks to a few comedians and things as well. So I'll take you through the shows and the people and we'll go through the shows first and then... In fact no, we'll go through the people first and then the shows because the problems I have with it are connected with the shows. Um, so the people, first of all, um, Alan Carr, brilliant, David Tennant, gorgeous as ever. I'm sorry but her interview with David is one of the most beautiful things ever. They have such a natural rapport with one another and he is very, very beautiful. Um, Lee Mark, Dawn French, David Williams, um, Rob Brydon, I think the ones with Rob Brydon were probably one of my favourite ones, very funny, he came in quite a few times. Um, Rebecca Front, Noel Fielding, Oof, Noel Fielding is gorgeous. Um, Miranda Hart, who is fantastic. And a couple of other people as well, that's not them all. i really pleased with the people, you know, she didn't talk to anybody who I didn't like. and. More appropriately, she didn't talk to anybody who I didn't know. There's nothing worse than watching one of these shows and then the main presenter talking to or about somebody who you've never heard of. That's like, it's so, it just fills you with so much shame. It's like, how can I not know who this person is? So luckily I did know everybody there, so that was good going. Um, and then the TV shows, again I'm not going to mention them all because it will spoil it if you're watching it to find out these moments and things. Um, but Bo Selecta, first of all, I've never liked Bo Selecta. Never have, never will. Um, of course she talked about the Catherine Tate show. Don't think for a second that it's narcissistic. She didn't talk a lot about it. Um, she talked about it more so when she was talking about Little Britain and how they came out at the same time and both kind of represented society at the time. And still do represent society. Especially with the characters of Vicky Parlard and um, Lauren Cooper. Uh, who, the latter of which I love so so much. <laughs> Lauren is fantastic. I'm above it. Love her so much. And they played clips of all these shows as well. And they played one of my favourite Catherine Tate sketches. They played a Nan one and oh, I've completely forgotten the character's name. But she does the fudge cake sketch as well. Um do you know when she's like at the office desk and she's saying to the other woman, you know, guess how much weight I lost or guess what I'm going to see tonight or guess how old somebody's just turned and she's really pushing for an answer and she's fantastic they played one of those ones <laughs> and it was like guess which is the most offensive word used in the office and just out of nowhere um the poor woman who's being interrogated just goes titwank and Catherine just goes titwank and it is the funniest oh I, I only watched it this morning I literally watched it about an hour ago and I'm still dying of laughter I love the Catherine Tate show so, so much. Excuse me, I'm nearly crying, it's that funny. Um, she talked about Little Britain, um, the IT crowds, Mighty Bush, Phone Jacker, Gavin and Stacey, Miranda, of course, um, a couple of other shows. The only thing I'd want to say is that they didn't really touch upon comedy panel shows. Now, comedy panel shows were the very things that got me into comedies at all. About three, 
three and a half, four years ago perhaps, I started to watch things like Mock the Week and Never Mind the Buzzcocks and QI and Have I Got News For You and more recently Would I Lie To You, um, 8 Out Of 10 Cats, there, there are so many of them and to me that is what got me into comedy shows and from there I went to watch comedy sitcoms, British comedy sit sitcoms, I've watched American ones for ages. Um, that got me into British comedy sitcoms, um, into stand-up comedy, sketch shows. So for me, pa comedy panel shows are the root of comedy TV. And then I went and branched out from there. So I'm kind of a little bit disappointed that there was no real mention of comedy panel shows. Um, and it's not because they don't have a formula, because they're just as formulated as well. And as they take a lot more effort, I think, than some sketch shows. Because, well, they take a lot less effort, but they portray a lot more effort to me. So I was a little bit disappointed that they didn't really touch upon them and satire as a whole. Um, there was no mention of Peep Show. In fact, there was no mention of David Mitchell and Robert Webb at all. And it's not as if they've just recently came into light, they've been around for quite a while. So I think there was a lot that could have been touched upon, a lot that wasn't. And the fact that it was two hours, they could have quite easily done that, you know, instead of spending, say, ten minutes on one show. You know, they spent a long time on specific shows. Fortunately for me, a lot of the shows they spent time on were shows that I liked. For example, they did spend time on Little Britain, and I love Little Britain. So for me, that was beneficial. But had they spent that much time on, perhaps, the IT crowd, I would have been like, please, hurry up, shut up, show me something good. But they didn't. So I think the, the proportions of TV shows they were showing was not in balance. They did miss out, miss out a lot of crucial things. And it's not just me personally who thinks that, well, me personally who knows they're good shows, because... For example, The Peep Show has a massive audience, a massive following, um, and a lot of people love Robert and Webb. You know what I mean? Robert Webb, David Mitchell. I knew that didn't wasn't going to come out right. Um, Mitchell and Webb. And I think they just didn't get the balance right at all. But what we were shown was good. What they were missing would have been better if they brought it in, but we were shown a really good thing. It's not one of those programs that I'd recommend you put on and sit down and stare at the screen for two hours absorbing it. I was doing other things. I was getting ready at the same time. Um, so I wasn't just glued to the screen watching it. But it's, it's alright to have one in the background. And I did sort of stop and listen when she was talking to, for example, David or Noel Fielding or Rob Brydon. And when they were playing the Catherine Tate show sketches, I was, you know, watching it. It's a sad fact that I know both Little Women, uh, Little Britain, my head's all over the place, Little Britain and the, um, the Cat and Tate show sketches pretty much word for word. I have seen those all series pretty much, well apart from, I don't think I've seen many of the, the, the more recent Little Britain ones, I mean they're still quite old. And also the Little Britain USA, I've not seen that many of those but the ones I have are flawless. But yeah, so Cat and Tate laughing at the naughties is definitely worth the watch just for the Cat and Tate element itself. Just to catch up with Little Britain and Cat and Tate sketch show clips. I love them. And it also gives you a little history of how Catherine herself got into got into comedy from acting and how she sort of progressed through there. As I said, there's not a lot about her, maybe sort of ten minutes in total. Um, so it's not narcissist based and it is beautiful. As I said, a couple of minor faults, but it's not a major issue. Do check it out. Um, please feel free to leave comments and let me know your thoughts and I'll see you all next time. Bye.